how do you compete with the larger players in your industry? So someone asked me. So for example, uh, you might say, well, George, how do you go, ag go against or compete with like the Brendan Burchards, uh, the Evan Pagans, the Marie Forleos, the sort of celebrity status business coaches uh, who also have lots of free content online, right? Just like I have free content online. It's like my free content, some people might think is competing with the free content of those celebrity guru business coaches, right? Well, actually, you may have an answer because you're watching my content and not watching theirs, or maybe you watch both of ours, but you still watch my content. So I'd love your response to this. How do, you, how, how, how do I compete? Why are you watching my stuff, and not some of the other more famous people? And there's, there's, a, 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 there's no lack of free content online, right? And so thinking about yourself, I mean, this is one of the... One of my viewers asked this of me, like he's trying to do a spiritual um, content, spiritual coaching, spiritual mentoring. And he says, George, how do I compete? My, my free content, how do I compete with, uh, you know, the Adi Ashantis and, and the Eckhart Tolle's, um, people like that. So here is my response. And again, I want to, I'd love to know what your response is to this question before I share mine. So you might want to pause the video now and go, go down and comment on why do you watch my stuff or read my stuff uh, when you can be watching the 50,000 other, you know, more well-known business coaches and marketing coaches? And some of them are very authentic and helpful as well, right? Lots of free content out there. Why, why mine, right? Okay, so here's my response to him. You, first of all, people always appreciate new voices new personalities even if it's communicating the same thing right i mean how when it especially when it comes to spiritual content it's not that different from what the old masters taught you know right it's it's you know the golden rule it's doing certain practices to connect with your divine source um it's not anything that's radically revolutionary and if, if it sounds revolutionary just because they're, they're saying the ancient teachings in just their own vocabulary, their own way, their own, with their own experiences. So people always appreciate a new spin on whatever topic they are wanting to learn, number one. Number two is that because you're not yet a celebrity, you have the time and the bandwidth to engage with your audience. When someone comments on your video or comments on your article, I hope you are giving the time and the energy to reply back to them with gratitude, um, maybe with something else, additional insight that's helpful for that conversation. And you know that's what I do, right? When I get comments, I might not be able to comment you know, within a day, but usually within a few days, I reply back to your comment most of them anyway say thank you and especially if you have questions I do my best to reply and and try to be helpful Adi Ashanti doesn't have time to do that Eckhart Tolle doesn't have time to do that Brendan Burchard doesn't have time to reply to your questions individually Mary Marie Forleo doesn't have time to reply to your questions individually so that is so in other words you and I who are not celebrities are able to care for individuals while we are still so-called small, right? And if, if it's meant to be that you become a celebrity yourself, or I actually personally, you may have watched one of my other videos about not more fame, more service. But I, 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 don't, I don't want to become a celebrity myself. I hope to be always able to respond to my readers and viewers on a one-to-one -one basis. So. So I think that's where we can really add a lot more value. And so once we start responding to our readers and viewers on a one-to-one -one level, we start building a relationship with people, right? And again, that's what the gurus don't have time or, or bandwidth to do. They don't have time and bandwidth to build a relationship with you, but you do with your viewers and your readers. So stand apart with your love and your care and with your own perspective and your life experience. That's where we are different, 
and some might even say better for our audience than just the gurus 